Greetings, everybody, uh, out there in YouTube land. Whenever there are two or more that are gathered in the name of Jesus, He is here with us. And when you find yourself in the presence of God, you are standing upon holy ground. Now, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, and it's off the spur of the cuff, but I have recognized that I don't have it in my playlist, but it needs to be said. I have seen far too many of these claims on YouTube, and it's time for me to put it to rest and clarify it. As the title of this video is, okay, homosexuals are born that way. No kidding. No kidding. But you can't use that as a crutch. You can't use that as an excuse. You know why? Because we are taught in scripture that we are born into a carnal life and a carnal body that is in a state of fallen nature and sin nature. We are born into sin. There are those that, if you're homosexual, there's a great chance that you are born homosexual. If you are a thief, great chance that you are born a thief and you are going to grow up and be a thief. If you are a murderer, you were born to kill people. It is your nature, and it is what you were born to be. That's the carnal nature. What the message of the gospel is, is that you can become free of that carnal nature. Recognize that that carnal nature is going to do nothing but send you straight into hellfire. And that is not passing judgment because the judgment has already been passed. We are just simply waiting the execution of that judgment. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm not in my normal surroundings. I'm on vacation today. But it is coincidentally the first step. The first step towards salvation is recognizing your carnal nature, recognizing that you are a sinner, and recognizing that you cannot possibly conceivably change that carnal nature on your own. You are enslaved to that carnal nature. And you grieve and repent of that sinful position, recognizing the problems that living that sinful lifestyle has heaped upon your life. And no, there is no matter, no amount of trying to convince the world and society that your sinful nature should be accepted and embraced because even if it was, it still causes you grievous problems. But being driven to it, it, it is unnatural. It is, na it, is, it is natural in the way that you were born that way, but in the terms of, of the world itself and nature's drive towards procreation, <laughs> you've missed the boat. That's why it's considered sinful. It's not part of the plan. Accepting that, accepting that you were born into that nature, and accepting that you can't do it on your own, is the first step. You have to then, when you recognize it and you are grieving of that sin and desirous of change, because you have to want the change, that is when you come before the Lord, you ask forgiveness for being the way you are, yes, I, I know, <laughs> I can hear you atheists out there already, but it's just the state of what it is. 
and it's a it is a way, the only way to get through this is you have to die to your carnal nature, put it in the grave, which is what baptism is, and step forward as a new creature being born again. You've heard this before many times. I know you have. It's been repeated over and over and over. And for you Christian ministers out there, okay, don't fall for that trap. When they say, I'm this way because I was born that way, you go, right, you're on stage one. Now, stage two is recognizing that you're living in sin. Stage three is when you get to the point where you recognize the issues in your life because of that sin and you want to turn away from it and lead a righteous life. You get me? You can be free of the carnal sin nature that you were born into. There are many things out there that people are born into. If your parents were alcoholics, I'll bet when you grow up you're going to find that you were born to be an alcoholic. If your parents smoke cigarettes like a chimney, when you grow up, you know what? You were born to be a smoker. But there are ways to quit. First thing you got to do is realize just how disgusting and how destructive it is to your body. How destructive it is to your spirit. And the only way to get right with God is to turn from that life, die to self, turn and go the other direction, and walk in a newness of life. I can't say it anymore. So all you homosexuals out there that want to convince me that you can't change because you were born that way, guess what? Recognizing you were born that way is the first step towards making the change to become a righteous person that is free of that sin. And if you don't, you're destined for hellfire. And there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is show you the way. All I can do is introduce you to God. Give you the steps that you must take. And I'm not saying it's easy. And a lot of people stumble and fall. And it doesn't happen the first time because the whole point is you can't do it on your own. It takes God. It takes the Holy Spirit to do it for you and to purge it through you. What it ta The only thing that's accepted from you, the, on the only thing required of you is to accept it and allow it to happen. So you can't use that as a crutch. You really can't. It's Greg Monroe of Holy Ground Christian Holy Ground Ministries. Saying God bless you and turn from your wickedness.